Yes. And now we cross over currently His Excellency Kalenzo Msioka is speaking. Let's listen in. Meant, meant for our citizens. At this time of polarization like we are in today, it is easy for a section of the country to see these events as things that only happen to the other side. The people we don't like. The people we call our enemies. That should not be the case, fellow Kenyans. At a time like this, we need to dig deep into our reservoir of sobriety and take a very close look and dispassionate look at our nation. Something is brewing and getting rotten in the heart of our country. It is possible for a nation to labor and turn against its patriots. It is happening in our country. We need to listen to each other more carefully. We need to tap into our wells of empathy. We need to soften our hearts. Yes, indeed, Dr. Caroline Karugu, we hear you. We need to unclench our fists. Yes, we need to listen to fellow citizens, all of us. The events of these past days need to make us to reflect on the present and the future, on the way we want to run this country and the way we want to be governed, not to be ruled. We heard that today. We need to accept a simple fact of life, that we are all mortal, that what matters is not wealth or status or power or fame, but life and what we do with it when we have it. We need to reflect on our values, yes, chapter 10 of our constitution, national values as a nation, and ask ourselves whether our actions reflect our values. If we accept that those who were harmed or killed are part of our Kenyan family, then we have to face the pain that we are smaller today as a family because we took away lives when we did not have to. As we speak here, we have orphans, widows and widowers when we did not have to. We have to reflect and debate as a nation in a way that recognizes that every life matters and is God-given and in a way that honors the dead and the wounded. The lives we celebrate today must force this country to pursue more civility in our public engagements. We need to honestly debate whether it is um, courage or cowardice when the state unleashes artillery and brute force against an armed citizens asking for the most basic of basics. Food with sufferers, yes, indeed, on their heads. These are people who were testing the limits of our democracy, who had faith in our constitution, who had faith in their obligations as citizens, and who hoped that one day they, they too, might be leaders police officers, hmm. even presidents in this country. Now, they are gone. Let these deaths and injuries inspire us to do everything we can to make sure that this country lives up to the expectations of our citizens. Today, even as we continue to mourn, celebrate and pray for the victims, we are going a step further and we're launching a citizen's emergency fund to offer practical support to families of the dead and the injured. We are appeal to all Kenyans of goodwill, those who love justice, those who wait upon the Lord to come through for their fellow citizens by contributing to this fund. And I want at this juncture to acknowledge with grateful thanks the contribution of our brother, President Huru Moigai Kenyatta, of one million shillings. 
I also want to acknowledge the contribution of our brother, Raila Molo Odinga, of one million shillings. And I'm escorting them with a half a million shillings. Ah, wonderful. Members of Parliament have already given 1.5 million shillings. We further take this opportunity to thank all our citizens who continue to append their signatures to signal the withdrawal of support for the Kenya Kwanzaa regime. As we speak, the signatures as of today stand at 8.2 million. And we are still counting. Please continue signing. I should be very bold, courageous, bold and courageous. Be of good courage and stand very strong. Those are the words that Moses gave, I think, uh, to, to Joshua. Be strong and of good courage. Thank you. Mother's apology, she's out of the country too. I'm sure as soon as she lands, she'll be able to do the need for. And our brother Eugene has also pledged 200,000 shillings. <laughs> we, of course, get more pledges. Let's feel relaxed about this. I also want to announce on our behalf that on Sunday, the 30th of July, that is day after tomorrow, we shall communicate to the nation our next course of action with regard to anti-tax protests. May God bless and keep those who have lost an eternal peace, young as they were. We pray to God to love, heal, and watch over the survivors and their families. May we and may the good Lord enable us to renew our strength as a people. May God bless Kenya. Amen. We are putting that on the screen. Uh, pay bill number 247247. And account number 1630. Two eight four four zero seven zero seven six is there on the screen, and please notice a lot of these families are struggling. We saw the, the family in Nakuru unable to do anything, even to bury their loved ones. I'll give the example of this young man who was shot in a Mali. Uh, he wasn't even demonstrating. The bullet just hit him, he was standing next to his mother, a single mother. This young man and the mother and their sister, and the sister had been uh, thrown out of their family in a place called Kilala, near Makueni. And this young boy had sworn to the mother, Mom, I'll go study as much as I can and come and build a house for you. This young man was, was supposed to join Moy University in September to perchance study and come and build a house for the mother. It did not happen. Well, this single mother has been asking us is if we can get at least have an acre because she had none out there where she's buried her son and then she could be at least coming to pay her respects to her departed son. Just see how emotional these things are. Did, he, did this young man have to die? And then people come out congratulating the police. No, no, we cannot take it. We cannot leave it here, and we have to do something about this. And uh, yes. Well, we really must thank the governors of Kisumu, Migori, Oma Bay, Siaya, and Kisi, yeah, for waiving all the hospital bills and continuing to support these victims. Amachakos, oh, Wavinya has also sent word that, in fact, when we were there, she had also waived. Uh, we appreciate that. Um, 
for, for that show of solidarity. Yeah, so this is the way to go. We appreciate. Thank you so much. Thank you, Your Excellency. We have come to the tail end of our engagement today. And because we were in a church service, we want to close with a word of prayer. I will ask Bishop Abuka to lead us in that. As a microphone is given to them, praise him. All right. That's the letters from the SKM Center in regard.